So in this video, I'm going to go over using Blender Grease Pencils Guides functions to draw two-point perspective in Blender. I'm looking at an example here to briefly go over what two-point perspective will look like in Grease Pencil. And if you want a more in-depth explanation of perspective, you can watch my intro to perspective video. So in this example, I briefly want to review how the lines in this example work, and then I'll draw some of these in Grease Pencil just to give you an idea. And again, like my last video, I'm not going to render a lot of this scene out, but I did want to show you how you can use Grease Pencil to draw a scene similar to this. So this is two-point perspective, and we have two vanishing points, a horizon line, and then perpendicular lines. So if I turn on the perpendicular lines, you can see those are going up and down. They're perpendicular to the horizon. And it's mainly the columns, the seams, and the windows. If I turn those on, you can see these follow the beams and the ceiling. And if I scroll out, you can see how far away that vanishing point is. That's why the perspective lines look so gradual, is because they are so far away from the vanishing point. So if I turn on the right perspective lines, you can see that one's a little closer to the scene. Still out of frame, but still closer to the scene. And you can see those lines go to the vanishing point a lot quicker, so their angle is a lot more severe than the ones going to the left vanishing point. So based on those vanishing points, I can get the horizon line, which is here. And again, the perpendicular lines going up and down will be perpendicular to the horizon line. So in this example, unlike in one-point perspective, we don't have any parallel lines. So I'm going to pull this to the side on my second monitor, and I'm going to open up Blender. Okay, now I'm in Blender 3.3.1, and we don't need any special add-ons for this project. So the first thing I want to do is click on 2D Animation. In order for the lines to be erasable in this project, we'll need to go to Stroke and uncheck Post Processing. And again, I covered this in the previous video, but quickly speaking, you need points in Blender to erase. And when you draw a straight line in Blender, Post-processing makes that line as simple as possible, which means it typically only has a vertex on one end and a vertex on the other. So to erase it, you're erasing the whole line because there aren't any vertexes other than those two to erase. So if we turn off post-processing, then we have multiple lines to erase. And I'll show you quickly what I mean. So if I turn on Guides, which is up here, and then I select Grid, which allows me to draw left and right. If I draw across there, and then I go to edit mode, I select it, and then scroll in. You can see, if I go up here to vertex mode, this is made up of a lot of dots, which are vertexes or points. So then if I go back to draw mode and turn on post-processing and draw a straight line, go back to edit mode, select it. You can see that has maybe one or two vertexes here and one or two vertexes here. So if I go back to draw mode, erase, see how it erases part of the line. You can't erase a little bit of it, so that's why I want to turn that off. So I'll go back to draw mode, and I'm going to make sure, again, that's off. Now the first thing I want to do is I'm looking at my example, and the horizon line was kind of right in the middle of the frame. So I'm going to go to this grease pencil icon here in the Properties menu, select that. And here's our layers for this scene. So we have lines and fills. I'm not going to need fills for this one, so I'm going to double click in there and change this to Horizon. So with that changed, I'm going to go to the Materials menu, and under Stroke, up here, I'm going to add a new stroke. Because I'm going to use the solid stroke to draw with, but I want the horizon line to be a different color. And if you change the color of a stroke, you change the color of all the strokes that you've done in the scene. So I want a separate color for the horizon line and the vanishing points. So I'm going to click this plus icon and hit New. I'm going to double click here in the Materials and type Horizon. Now under Base Color, I want to click that and change it to an orange. I'm going to scroll out. I'm going to go back to the Grease Pencil 
properties and make sure I'm on horizon. So based on my scene in Photoshop, and again, I'm not going to recreate this exactly, but I know one vanishing point is fairly close and the other one is far off. So I want to draw the horizon line like that. Now, if you watched the one point perspective video, you know I was able to use guides, radial, and I was able to set the cursor as to where my vanishing point was. But that won't work here because we need two vanishing points and you can only have one cursor in the scene. In object mode, I'm going to hit Shift A and I'm going to go down to Empty and I'm going to select Sphere. I'm going to hit S to scale it down. I'm going to hit G to grab it and X to constrain it to the X axis and I'm going to pull it to the left. Now with that selected, I'm going to double click in the outliner and I'm going to change the name to Left Vanishing Point. Now with that selected, I'm going to hit Shift D to duplicate it. And I'm going to hit X to constrain the X axis. And I'm going to drag it to the right. And I'm going to double click that and change its name to Right Vanishing Point. And I misspelled both points. So let me fix that. Okay, now I'm going to go back to draw mode. Well, I'm going to select stroke and then go back to draw mode. You have to have the stroke selected in order to get to draw mode. Then under my layers, under the grease pencil properties, I want to click the lock icon. So now I can't draw on that layer and it's set. And then I'm going to change over to lines. Okay, I'm going to now draw a perpendicular line to kind of set where the back middle column is. So I'm going to go to Guides, Grid, and up here under Stroke, I want to change that to Solid Stroke. I'm going to turn off Radius Pressure and turn off Strength Pressure, and I'm going to bring Strength all the way up to 1. Then on Stroke, I want to click down here for Solid Stroke and change that color to a gray. And I'll scroll in, Shift Middle Mouse button to drag the scene. Okay, I'm going to draw a perpendicular line about right here. Now I'm going to go to Guides, and I'm going to change that to Radial, and I'm going to change it to Object, and here I'm going to select Left Vanishing Point. And I don't actually have to draw out to that, so let me put my cursor here and just go off the page just a little. And I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom. And then I'm going to Go to Guides, Radial, and change the object to Right Vanishing Point. I'm looking for a way to simplify this, whether it's a pop-up menu or some kind of add-on, uh, just to simplify this process and make it easier. But for right now, I just want to show you what you can accomplish with it. So now that I've changed that, it's disappearing to the right side. I'll go up here to Guides and click Grid. I really didn't need to drag it all the way over here. Okay, so now we have that column in perspective. So with the, I'm going to go back to draw mode. I'm going to go back to radial and select object. I still got the right vanishing point. So let me actually change this to grid. So I'm going to go back to draw mode. I'm going to drag this line up a little more. So after I've drawn that, let me go to Guides, and I'm going to change my vanishing point to the left. And let's do this. So those would be columns at the top. Let me draw a window here. So before I do any more, let me change this to right vanishing point. Okay, I think that looks good. So let me go to grid.
And again, I'm not trying to get this perfect. So let me turn back on draw mode. I want to go up. And to make this easier, you could separate a lot of this off into uh, different layers. I'm not trying to get this to be perfect. I just want to give you a good example of what it can do. Turn off guides. Now see, I got those kind of jagged. If I hold shift while I draw, I get the kind of lazy mouse which helps straighten things up a bit Okay, if I want to add the rug, I can go to guides and turn those on. Go to radial. Got a left vanishing point. And then go to guides and change that vanishing point to right. And go back to guides and change that vanishing point to left. Okay, I'm going to add a little lip to this to kind of give it a little three dimensional. So let me go to guides, grid. Now I know that's too thick for a rug, but you get the idea. So that's the easy way to use guides and blender to create two point perspective drawings using just the radial option with two objects as your vanishing points and then the grids option to your perpendicular lines. Hopefully you found this video helpful and if you did, please watch the other perspective uh, videos I created and then I'll probably do one on three point perspective soon. And I think that'll cover everything you need to know about creating perspective drawings in blender. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. That would really help me grow the channel and thanks for watching.